Jim's little boat. And for those of you who watch this channel now and then, you know that we are all about small sailboats, especially Catalina 22 small boats. And this morning, I would like to help you with just a minor little project, unless it's a problem for you. This is, of course, the piece of MDO plywood that is in your boat that provides a step to get down from the companionway into the boat. And this little cutout is all about going around the keel cable tube. And if you don't have one of these, that's a problem. Because if you got one, you just trace the old one and you make a new step. But if you don't have one at all, you got to go into the boat with cardboard and it's a lot of dinking around. So I thought this morning I would just save you a little bit of time and help you get the first template so that you can cut out your plywood and replace the missing step. The product that we're after here is just a paper template. And you notice the corners aren't round. You're going to figure that out once you get the template all done. And I made a video drawing this whole thing out full size to show you how to do it. And you couldn't read anything. So I changed my tactics. And I went to small pieces of paper. And I drew them to scale. So that you'll be able to easily see the dimensions that will get you to this. So go and get yourself a piece of poster board or cardboard or corrugate or whatever you have handy and either cut it down to 28 by 20 or just draw a rectangle. That's what I've done here. And as I said, the dimensions are 28 long and 20 inches tall. So you want to start out with that rectangle right there. When you've got the rectangle drawn, we're going to want to make three tick marks. We're going to measure from the right-hand side. We're going to go over 14 inches and make a little tick mark. Six inches, make a tick mark. Five and three quarters, make a tick mark. In the next step, you're going to take those three tick marks and you're going to extend them all the way across the page so they come down to the bottom. And then we're going to add four more tick marks. We're going to come down from the top of the sheet nine inches and make a tick mark. And then we'll go over here and we'll come down on that tick mark eight and three quarters inches and we'll make a little mark. And then on the far side of the page, we're going to come down 12 and an eighth and make a little tick mark. And then finally down here, we're going to make a little tick mark pointed at the edge of the paper. This is on the five and three quarter line, and we're going to make a little tick mark there. So these tick marks will help us describe the outside of the pattern. Now that you have all those little tick marks, all you have to do is connect them. Let's start right here. That's the edge of the paper. That's the edge of the paper. Come down to that tick mark on the left hand side. Go over here and it's going to be at the five and three quarters spot where we come together. Ignore that one for the moment. And that will be the outline of the whole thing. It will look like that. For a second, let's focus on that V-shaped cutout where the keel cable tube goes. So where we've got that V, we want you to come down seven inches and make a little tick mark. And then come down four and three quarters, that's the center line, make a little tick mark and connect those. So we're going to cut that all out. When you've got all these things drawn in, it's time to cut out the first iteration of your template. When you get everything done and drawn, you're going to end up with a paper template like this, either on cardboard or poster board. Take it into the boat and Try to get those corners right. You got lots of time. You got tape and scraps. You can fix it as much as you want. And you will come pretty darn close when you cut out your piece of plywood. Not very complicated. You could have done it without this guide, but this hopefully will save you some time. Good luck.